Imagine yourself in the middle of nowhere in Antarctica, barely able to see anything in a howling blazer. All you can rely on are two companions, one in front of you and one behind you, walking painstakingly with dogs pulling a sledge. All of a sudden, there is an ear-splitting roar, and as you look back, one of your companions falls 150 feet down a crevice, dying immediately with the best of the sledging dogs and food supplies. Without food or other supplies, and being 300 miles away from the base camp, what would you do? You have to remember, all of this is happening in the middle of Antarctica. Douglas Mawson was in this miserable and grim situation, but decided to start back to the base camp. Knowing that there was a high possibility he could not make it, but he and his companions did start back. Sir Douglas Mawson was born on May 5, 1882, and graduated from the University of Sydney. He was trained as a geologist, a chemist, and mostly famous as an Antarctic explorer. In November 1907, the leader of the British Antarctic expedition, Sir Ernest Shackleton, visited Adelaide. Due to Mawson's interest in seeing the existing continental ice cap and becoming acquainted with glass stations and its geological consequence, he joined the expedition. It was during this expedition of crossing the Ninis Glacier that one of their men fell into the snow-covered crevice along with his sledge and died. The sledge included their six best dogs, their tent, valuable gears, and most of the food for the men and dogs. They had to pull the sledge themselves since there were not enough dogs left. And during the night, Mustin and the other man, Mertz, had to sleep together covered by a spare tent cover and suffer by cold and hunger. Due to the lack of food, they accused three sledging dogs to feed themselves. The dog's meat was stringy and not tasty at all. The house condition of Mertz started to deteriorate, and he got tired easily. So Mawson managed to put him on a sledge and put everything by himself. Their only chance of survival was to keep going quickly because the relief ship was scheduled to leave the Antarctic within several days. Soon, Mert's health became much worse and he became insane due to depression and hunger. Several days later, he died of vitamin A poisoning due to eating dog's liver. And Mawson had to pull through by himself with his own deteriorating health. The soles of his feet fell off and they oozed pus and blood. And this made him think that keep going for another 80 miles was an impossible task. He was in a race against time. However, a miracle happened. He found a bag of food left by the search team, and most importantly, he found out he was only 28 miles from the search team's camp. 28 miles does not seem to be a long journey, but it was long enough for a weak man. With his steadfast spirit, he finally found the search team but he was severely wounded, malnourished, and dirty. Nevertheless, he was but still alive. When he reached Australia, he was considered a national hero. This survival story teaches us a life lesson. At the most desperate moment of his life, Mawson managed to survive due to his ceaseless tenacity, steadfastness, and courage. Compared to the dilemma Douglas faced, our everyday struggles seem far less challenging. As Mawson manifested, there is no such thing that is too hard or impossible to complete as long as you commit to your life with great determination and never give up.